For the most part, water is a human's best friend. We drink it to stay hydrated, wash ourselves with it to keep clean. Well, it's probably a cycle. It probably does it once a day or twice, three times a day or something. And swim in it to get fit and healthy. But as we're about to see, water can also be our worst enemy, bringing destruction to the parts of the world that are unfortunate enough to incur its wrath. Here are 15 times water went out of control. The Boar Tides of the Chintang River A tidal bore is an ocean phenomenon that occurs when a gigantic wave is pulled into a river from an ocean of a higher elevation. This is, of course, a grossly oversimplified description of a tidal bore's origins, but no explanations we can give here could do justice to the magnificence of such a breathtaking event. Let it suffice to say that a tidal bore is an absolutely stunning visual, providing you don't get too close. Residents of the eastern China province of Zhejiang learned this the hard way in October of 2020. This is home to the Qingtang River, which is famous for producing the largest tidal bore in the world. The bore, which residents refer to as the Silver Dragon, reaches its great lengths in mid-autumn. It's during this time that locals and tourists alike descend upon the region to experience the world's famous tidal bore in all its glory. The Chinese city of Hangzhou boasts some of the best Silver Dragon viewing points in the region. But as this image shows, these can quickly become the worst viewing points in the region when the tidal bore gets out of control. The haunting snapshot was taken as the Silver Dragon came roaring over the banks of Hangzhou. Residents, holidaymakers, and even law enforcement officials can be seen rushing for safety in an ill-fated attempt to outrun the wave. Since this picture was taken, the government has constructed higher walls to protect the city from a repeat of this devastating event. At the time of this recording, autumn is just around the corner, so we don't have to wait too long to find out if these efforts will prove successful or if the Silver Dragon is just too powerful to be tamed. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Tiger Leaping Gorge We're not ready to leave China just yet. For this next entry, we're going to be visiting the country's Yunnan province, which is home to an awe-inspiring canyon known as Tiger Leaping Gorge. The gorge takes its name from an old legend about a tiger that was desperately trying to escape a hunter. Fleeing its nearby home, the tiger came to the very edge of the gorge. With the hunter closing in, the wild animal was forced to choose between staying put and facing certain death at the hands of the hunter or attempting to jump the gorge. The tiger decided to risk it all and leapt over the edge, coming to rest on a boulder in the middle of the canyon before making another death-defying jump and making it safely to the other side of the gorge. All in all, the tiger cleared an 82-foot wide gap. This impressive feat was immortalized when locals decided to name the gorge in the tiger's honor. Today, Tiger Leaping Gorge is as terrifying as it is beautiful. From the peak of its mountain to the river below, there's a depth of more than 12,300 feet. To put that into context, the Grand Canyon has a depth of about 6,000 feet at its very deepest point, making it less than half the size of Tiger Leaping Gorge. But it isn't just the massive drop from mountain to river that makes this canyon so intimidating. The powerful waters that flow through it have been known to pour over viewing points, soaking onlookers with as much ferocity as the tidal bore we discussed in the previous entry. When the gorgeous river gets particularly out of control, it's even been known to drag unfortunate souls into the canyon below. <laughs> Breaking news. In an age where most people receive their news almost exclusively from headlines on their social media feeds, television news reports must go the extra mile to convince viewers to tune in. One news presenter in Pakistan did just that, and then some when he was tasked with reporting a massive flood that struck his home country during the summer of 2019. Knowing that his words could never adequately convey the severity of the flood, this fearless reporter thrust himself into the neck deep water and delivered his report while everything but his head was submerged. With the water still rising, the presenter rushed through his presentation and completed it in a mere 34 seconds, leaving himself with just enough time to get back to land before the unthinkable occurred. It didn't take long for footage of the report to go viral, with many viewers praising the reporter for his bravery and creativity. 
others branded him for a fool for risking his life for the sake of a news story. What do you think? Does this news presenter deserve worldwide acclaim, or did his risky reporting take idiocy to new depths? Let us know where you stand in the comments below. <laughs> Gate Collapse In 1931, a dam was concentrated on the Guadalupe River just outside the Texas town of New Braunfels. The resulting reservoir was christened Lake Dunlap and quickly became a popular site for fishing, swimming, and other outdoor activities. For decades, Lake Dunlap was New Braunfels' most popular tourist attraction. Then, in 2019, disaster struck when the powerful waters of the Guadalupe River caused the middle wall of the 90-year-old dam to collapse. The disastrous event was captured on camera, allowing us to observe the very moment the dam gave in. As we can see from this footage, the immense power of the river was just too much for the gate to hold. Immediately after toppling the dam, the river floods the lake below causing unimaginable damage to the plants and wildlife that have been living in Lake Dunlap for almost a century. As terrifying as this footage is, we can at least take solace in the fact that the story has a happy ending. In 2021, almost two years to the day that the dam was destroyed, the State of Texas Water Development Board approved the construction of a new dam on the same site. Construction is expected to be completed in May of 2023 just in time for visitors to enjoy another summer in the waters of their beloved Lake Dunlap. <laughs> Road Collapse As we learned in the previous entry, water has the power to destroy even the strongest man-made creations, whether it's a dam or in the case of this next piece of footage, an entire road. This video was recorded in the American state of Maine in 2008, following an immense springtime storm. It shows large quantities of water flowing over a woodland road as continuing rainfall causes the flood to grow increasingly intense. After a couple of minutes, the road just can't take it anymore and collapses under the weight of the flood water. The resulting sinkhole is relatively small at first, but it quickly spreads to create a gaping hole in the center of the road. This is truly chilling footage, but it's almost impossible to take your eyes off of. It's no wonder Stephen King has used Maine as the setting for so many of his classic horror novels. <laughs> fire Hydrant Geyser Nobody is quite sure who invented the fire hydrant. Some say Birds Hill Holly Jr. conceived of the idea, which would make sense as he also played a crucial role in the creation of the steam fire engine. However, others argue that he merely altered an 1801 model designed by Frederick Graff nearly two decades before Holly was born. Allegedly, Graff even held a patent for the fire hydrant, but it was lost when the U.S. Patent Office was ironically destroyed by a fire in 1836. Though the origins of the fire hydrant may be rather murky, what is clear is that the invention has saved countless lives since its introduction and it continues to save countless lives every year. But when a fire hydrant is opened without authorization, it can go from a life-saving water source to an instrument of unbridled destruction. If you ever needed a reason not to open a fire hydrant without permission, this video is it. It shows us the aftermath of a car crashing into a fire hydrant in California. Powered by a pressure of 20 pounds per square inch, water pours from the fire hydrant, shooting upwards like a suburban geyser. Thankfully, nobody was hurt when this particular fire hydrant exploded, but this isn't always the case. Every year, dozens of people are hospitalized with injuries that they sustained at the hands of the uncontrollable water of an improperly opened fire hydrant. Frozen Basement There are two things every homeowner dreads, burst water pipes and frozen water pipes. If you've ever experienced either of these things, you know they're extremely annoying and can cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars to set right. But at least you can take comfort in the fact that you have never been as unlucky as this TikTok user who uploaded this video. This homeowner lives in Montreal, Canada and was understandably dismayed when one of their pipes burst and flooded their basement with several feet of water. To add to the homeowner's frustration was the fact that the pipe burst late at night meaning they wouldn't be able to get a handyman to repair it until the following day. Believing things could not get any worse, they resigned themselves to a night with a basement full of water and headed to bed. Well, turns out they were wrong. Things got worse. Much, much worse. When the homeowner investigated their basement the following morning, they were horrified to discover that Montreal's cold winter weather had caused the water to freeze solid. This video shows laundry baskets, chairs, 
gym equipment, and even the basement door trapped in an impenetrable block of ice. We don't know about you guys, but if this were us, we'd just cut our losses and move. Sure, it would probably require some creative advertising to sell this one, but who wouldn't want to buy a house with its very own ice rink? <laughs> Loose hose. The average fire hose comes in at about 50 feet and is capable of producing immense power that can quench towering flames in just seconds. How immense is immense power? That power varies depending on the situation. But for a typical bottom floor fire, a hose needs 150 pounds per square inch of water pressure. That number doubles in the case of a top floor fire as firefighters need to be sure the water stream is strong enough to reach the highest floor of the building. With such great water pressure, an active fire hose can cause some serious damage if a firefighter loses control of it. For this reason, many novice firefighters must undergo an extensive loose hose management course as part of their training. While we'll acknowledge that this course is totally necessary and extremely challenging, we can't deny that the footage of these loose hose training sessions is pretty amusing. In this video, we see two new recruits attempting to capture a loose hose as it unleashes gallons of water with the power of a baseball pitching machine on steroids. The footage could easily be mistaken for a scene from a Laurel and Hardy film, especially the moment one of the recruits runs away from the hose in fright. Fortunately, the more determined of the two eventually manages to climb up the hose as if it were a ladder and subdues it like a true firefighter. <laughs> the tide is high. The tide is high, but I'm holding on. So go the lyrics to the 1967 Paragon song that would be more famously covered by Blondie in 1980. Now, we're not sure what tide Debbie Harry was singing about in her iconic version of the song, but we're gonna guess it probably wasn't the tide of the Ganges in India, because that river produces waves so powerful that even the most determined pop rock icon couldn't hold on to them. The Ganges River is primarily known for its affiliation with the Hindu religion. In recent years, however, it's caught the attention of surfers and other water sport enthusiasts through the massive waves it produces during late spring and early summer. As we can see in this footage, these waves reach some dizzying heights and tear across the water at breakneck speeds. When they get out of control, they can cause serious injuries to the surfers and onlookers alike. But even though they're well aware of the risks, water-loving adrenaline junkies routinely journey to the Ganges, sometimes traveling halfway across the globe just to experience the thrill of riding what are perhaps the most underrated waves in the world. Soap Fountain Prank There's a fine line between a prank and a full-fledged destruction of property. Soaping teeters right on the line and very often crosses it. But what exactly is soaping and why are so many young people risking criminal charges just to give it a shot? Soaping is one of the latest practical jokes to take the internet by storm. Basically, it involves a person or a group of people taking a large quantity of soap and dumping it into a public fountain. The friction from the fountain's flowing water creates a lather, which causes large suds to develop and ooze over the fountain. It's all very juvenile, but it can be quite amusing to watch. Don't believe us? Check out this video recording of a real-life soaping perpetrated by some pesky students at Texas A&M. The freshmen pour gallons of soap into the campus fountain, and within minutes, there's a veritable foam party taking place. They even take off their shirts and jump into the fountain as the soap cloud continues to expand. It doesn't take long for other students to notice what's going on, and by the end of the footage the fountain is filled with almost as many academics as it is with suds. No matter what you think of this prank, it's hard to watch this video without getting caught up in the infectious laughter and the joy of the students, although they probably didn't find it so joyous when they were stuck with the multi-thousand dollar bill from the damage soaping typically causes to a fountain. Hmm. Ceiling Bubbles The water bubble has been a thorn in the side of homeowners everywhere ever since the advent of indoor plumbing. If you don't know what water bubbles are by name, there's a good chance you're familiar when you see them. They plague virtually every building that has a shower, a toilet, or even a single functioning sink faucet. They occur when moisture seeps into a painted wall or ceiling and is unable to find its way back out. With nowhere to go, the water causes the paint to expand, creating the appearance of a bubble in the infected area. For the most part, these water bubbles are relatively small and can be rectified by simply removing the afflicted paint and adding a fresh coat in its place. 
but if a water bubble is left untreated for a long period of time, additional water is likely going to get inside and cause it to expand even further. This will lead to a ceiling being taken over by a gigantic water bubble such as the one seen in this video. We don't know if the homeowner who recorded this footage didn't notice the water bubble when it first appeared or if they did notice it and simply chose to ignore it. Either way, they no doubt regret giving the bubble the opportunity to grow to such a massive size. With more than a liter of water built up inside of it, the bubble is causing almost the entire bathroom ceiling to droop downwards. Once the owner pops the bubble, it produces a stream of water that seems to be a never-ending stream of cash it's going to cost to repair that bathroom ceiling. Dam Discharge As we learned from our look at Lake Dunlap earlier in this video, the bursting of a dam can have disastrous effects. This is why most modern dams feature a spillway or an overflow channel. This allows for a controlled release of water from the dam. In doing so, the spillway drastically reduces the risk of a dam gate collapsing under the weight of built-up water. But while a spillway prevents a catastrophic flood from occurring, its so-called controlled water release isn't actually all that controlled. In some instances, the planned discharge can be just as devastating as the sudden rush caused by a burst dam. Take the following video, for example. Here, we see a premeditated release in Taiwan. As intended, thousands of gallons of water can be seen pouring down the spillway and into the lake below. Unfortunately, the water proves too powerful for the spillway to hold it and quickly veers from its mapped out course and flows onto the road below. The resulting flood is so severe that law enforcement officials are forced to completely close the road. Thankfully, the water was eventually drained without the road suffering the same horrible fate as its main counterpart. <laughs> Whirlpool in the street Australia is known for its extreme weather conditions, but even its long-tenured residents were stunned by the flooding that hit the land down under in early 2022. Queensland and New South Wales were hit particularly bad, with floods reaching almost 4 meters in height in some portions of the state. In photographs and videos of the flood, the worst-hit areas look almost like post-apocalyptic wastelands, with people trapped on the roofs of buildings while others are forced to travel through the city streets in canoes. But there's no footage of the floods that's more terrifying than what you're about to see. The video was captured by Brisbane resident Michael Hall when the flood was in its most destructive stages. It shows a whirlpool swirling in the three-meter high water that submerged an entire sports field. The whirlpool is so powerful that it's pulling stray cans, bottles, and other pieces of litter down into it. By the looks of it, it's strong enough to do the same to any living creature that dares approach it. In the end, this devastating flood caused more than $1.5 billion worth of damage to Eastern Australia, tragically taking the lives of a heartbreaking number of residents and displacing tens of thousands of more. Rebuilding efforts are ongoing and are being supported by numerous fundraisers and charitable organizations across Australia and around the world, so be sure to seek them out if you're in a position to contribute to their cause. Giant Pipe for this next entry, we'll be extending our stay in the land down under. However, we're going to be leaving Brisbane and New South Wales and heading all the way to the city of Melbourne. With so much of the city's economy centered around the Yarra River, it's only reasonable to assume that the famous body of water plays a role in the disaster we're about to look at. In reality, however, it's not the Yarra River that's responsible for Melbourne's recent water trouble, but a troublesome water pipe in a suburban housing estate. As a water main, the pipe was responsible for providing water to a huge area of Melbourne, so we're sure you can imagine the chaos caused by its explosion. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to imagine the chaos because we've footage of the blast right here. It shows more than half a million gallons of water being shot 250 feet into the sky. Also being shot into the sky is a 130-pound metal cage which ironically had been placed over the pipe with the intention of preventing such an explosion if the pipe were ever to rupture. When the water returned to the ground, it caused severe flooding in the surrounding area and even managed to sweep cars off the roads. To its credit, the water department was quick to its response in the blast and had engineers on the scene within minutes. But even with all their expertise, it took them more than an hour to stem the immense flow of the water. During this time, water levels rose to rival those of Brisbane and Queensland at the height of the floods discussed in the previous entry. Crikey! 
Ice Jam. Ice jams can wreak serious havoc on plants, wildlife, and even our own way of life. But despite the serious threats that they pose to the world as we know it, the majority of people seem to have no idea what ice jams are. Don't worry, we're here to tell you everything you need to know. Ice jams typically form towards the end of winter and at the onset of spring. At the juncture of these seasons, both heavy rainfall and sunny days are common, causing river levels to rise while ice sheets break up. As newly created ice chunks float down the river, their path may become constructed. This can cause a buildup of ice chunks that prevent the flow of the increasingly rising waters. When such an event occurs, we have what's informally known as an ice jam. If an ice jam isn't quickly broken up, it can lead to severe flooding, which is why the person who recorded this video was so excited to see the breakup of an ice jam which had been plaguing his community for far too long. This footage shows an event rarely seen on camera, the exact moment an ice jam lets go. To the delight of the uploader, the ice jam gives way under the heat of the sun, finally allowing for the free flow of the water it had been obstructing for days. By the looks of it, another day of blockage would have caused the river to burst its banks, so this ice jam's last minute melting truly prevented a complete calamity. Okay, that does it for this look at 15 times water went out of control. Which of these aquatic accidents featured in today's video shocked you the most? Let us know in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to our channel so we can flood your news feed with more awesome content. See you next time.